Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, heading down to the gym right now. I'm gonna hit a workout and then I'll explain what I'm gonna do in this vlog. Um, but yeah, cool. All right, so I'm eating my breakfast right now. I don't want to guys show you my food because that's a little bit weird. But um, I couldn't film in the gym today because uh, there was a lot of people and I just didn't want to make anybody uncomfortable. So um, I'm back now. I've, took it, I've taken a cold shower. Uh, I'm gonna need to clean my room right now because I haven't cleaned that in a solid minute. <clears throat> but the plan for today is do a little bit of schoolwork and then sit down on my video and then just, just like grind. Uh, like lock the hell in and just like focus and like maybe get like three minutes edited done uh just because i really want to like upload it before oh, i'm like again i'm hoping before friday um just because i know that like i'm ho like uh, again I'm, I'm hoping from the deepest pit of my heart that it actually blows up because if it does then i'll get a lot of clients i'll get a lot of booked calls and also i'm putting a little bit more effort into the vlogs because i genuinely want to grow this channel i realize that if i can like provide any sort of like mentorship or like free value um for completely free just to start out because um i want to give my hand like i want to give a shot to giving a helping hand if that makes sense so i was told by some friends that have helped start their businesses and whatnot that i'm a good teacher so they told me like hey you should start mentoring or whatever or not and i was like sure i would love to do that but i don't want to like make content focus on that solely because i feel like it takes away from the authenticity so um i'm gonna try and make a free discord later either today or tomorrow morning um, which I'll leave somewhere in the description so you guys can go ahead and like join it if you want so ask me questions um, I, I might be hopping on calls here and there uh, but just because I really want to give my hand uh, like give like try and give mentoring in a way where it's it's not b2b but it's more b2c so uh more direct to people who are trying to start businesses and, and individuals versus um giving like direct mentorship or giving consultation to business owners so that is like sort of something that i'm gonna try and start um like today or tomorrow so when this video is uploaded it should all be set up you guys can just join the description um but i'm gonna go eat some food and then after that I'm gonna go get some work done and then um, like on schoolwork and then I'll show you guys like the video so far how the progress is going and everything so yeah this thing on all right so quick little sparkling water uh, break I decided that I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from studying I'm basically halfway so I'm basically halfway done with my math review um, I honestly don't know if I should finish it like right now today or if I should like leave it for uh, another day because I just simply have so much work uh, left to do but let me update you guys on my clients and where I'm at currently with the business so um, so I think almost a week and a half ago we signed um, two clients one off fresh share only uh, but we're thinking of like switching to just a solid retainer and the second one is really big clients uh, we're talking sign on bonus which is like setup fee um and then ref share and then a solid retainer afterwards so i'll put in this like the clip of me getting like the stripe notification and showing you guys a stripe obviously i don't want to disclose any amounts because um for my privacy and the privacy for my clients uh, i just don't i'm simply not comfortable with sharing these um these amounts but um just just know that like these are like okay amounts they're not huge uh but at the same time like it definitely compensated for the lack of of clients uh coming in um over the past you know a couple of months 
and the huge huge setback that we had uh, with that refund clients so so ladies and gentlemen right now I am on the coaching call and as you guys can see I'm gonna have to blur whatever I <sighs> just understand that things happen in entrepreneurship that you don't necessarily have control over and this is like the thing the, the whole thing with with sort of like starting your own business is that there's a lot of highs and there's a lot of lows and you will experience the high like the highs are really high right you're you're balling you're on top of it one week you know you're making you know tens of thousands of dollars and then next week you're literally in debt you have to refund you have to you know pay your pay your um team members and whatnot like obviously i, I, I haven't been in debt hopefully never will um but what i'm saying is that like it's it's not what it seems out to be all these kids online they're talking about you know Guys, it's it's three it's three a.m. Guys, and I I can't. Oh man, I can't. I can't. Uh, I'm 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 working on my business. I'm not hanging out with me. like these guys are actually. They piss me off because they give off the wrong impression about entrepreneurship, and that's what entrepreneurship isn't about. It's not about you know fun meetings or um you know. Filming a day in the life every single day. It's about actually showing up putting in the work doing the boring stuff like no one's ever like enjoying um, You know hopping on a computer and, and outreaching every day uh, No one's enjoying that. No one in like no one really wants to do outreach. No one wants to do lead generation No one wants to do Like maybe sales is exciting because you're actually hopping on calls and you're closing deals and all that but no one actually wants to hop on on a call every single day in order to like close deals um, because it just gets tedious it gets boring right um, and especially 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 no young entrepreneur out there in the space um, like a lot of these people they would rather drop school or drop out or this and that um, in order to achieve their dreams now university is a whole different story like post-secondary education that's a whole different story because um, it involves you getting loans it involves you like uh, sort of putting yourself at debt and if you don't realize that risk and that sort of like if you don't take an educated sort of decision in that then it's gonna lead to more harm than it does good uh, but I'm not discussing that I'm not saying that every single entrepreneur should um, like go to school I'm personally thinking of like not going to post-secondary education I'm not gonna like go to university and if I do it's probably gonna be something along the lines of like business slash marketing which is something that I already know how to do so it's just gonna be theoretical work and that should be like very easy for me uh, but what I what I am saying is that you find these middle schoolers that you know they watch people online and they see them making all this money and they're preaching about courses and whatnot and they think that oh since I've made you know a thousand two thousand three thousand dollars I can just drop out of middle school uh, which is frankly just not realistic a lot of these people before they've dropped out and they before they've taken that sort of step they've made you know thousands and thousands of dollars um, before they've sort of taken that step anyways today's sort of like little vlog conversation isn't about um, sort of particularly me like shitting on um, it isn't particularly about like me making fun of or poking all the other like online entrepreneurs that are similar to my age that's not the topic of today the topic of today is um, how you really need to sort of manage who's around you in your inner circle and that directly affects how you act, how you behave. Now, we've all heard the, the expression, oh, you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. And that is true. But what people don't tell you is why is that true? Why is that necessarily true? And it's quite easy. It all comes down to your thoughts being energy. Everything around you, the only thing that is actually real around you is your energy. Every other materialistic thing, if you think about it, it's literally just energy in a different form. So money isn't real inherently money is just people's energy which is like time stored right so the reason why minimum wage exists it's like you can buy someone's like an unqualified person's like time for say 15 Canadian dollars an hour right that's the minimum wage that's what minimum wage is right and so you're buying people's time with that money and so if say for example I I take my phone here for example right my phone say costs you know a thousand dollars right cool 
how many hours is that of human labor, right? So that's the cost. This is how much it costs to make this, right? And obviously with their profits, um, the people who came up with the idea and design for the phone and all these sort of different people's time and effort and energy put in to make this phone, that's like sort of the cost and that's sort of the price that I'm paying, right? So that's what money is. Nothing around you adherently is real, right? The chair that I'm sitting on is not necessarily real. It's just someone's energy and effort put into something which sort of materialized. Uh, now, why am I telling you this? I can go on and on and on about like th these sort of topics and obviously I would, I, I'm gonna be very quite frank and honest with you, I would prefer to keep this sort of knowledge to myself because this is the type of stuff that, you know, people pay thousands and thousands of dollars for, um, but you can find pretty easily in books, right? Uh, if you know where to find the correct books and if you know where, like which books to read. Uh, but I'm basically just going to explain a simple topic, which is if everything around you is just made up of energy, then why would you give everybody and anybody access to your energy directly, right? I see a lot of people still have, you know, notifications on for Instagram, Snapchat, um, TikTok, and they're giving everybody their, you know, Snapchat or Discord or, or this and that. It, and it just boggles me where it's like, would you give someone access directly to your bank account? If the answer is no, then why are you giving access to people to ping you through notifications? You should think of your attention exactly like money because they're both finite resources and they're both just energy, right? And so um, this is this is how you're supposed to basically think in terms of like who you keep around you and, and who you surround yourself with. So if your friends are all scrolling on TikTok all day, that's all they have going for them. They have no goals. They don't go to the gym or they don't work out or they, they they literally sit inside all day and they rot and they're not doing anything productive. But you can sit all, inside all day and still do stuff productively, right? You can study, um, you can work on your business, you can do this and that. But if your friends or whoever surrounding you is literally just sitting all day scrolling on TikTok and can't remember what they do in a day and they're surprised, oh, why is the day going so fast? Well, it's because you're scrolling all day and you're literally doing nothing productive. But if, it's, if this is the type of people you're surrounding yourself with, chances are you're going to be like them. Even if you try and say, get out of this like circle and you're trying to get out of this um, almost like swamp, right? You're going to get dragged down. And that's just adherent, right? It's, it's, the reason is, is because like, again, back to the whole energy levels and everything, they just are on a stronger energy level. Negative energy is tends to usually be way way stronger especially when you know it's collected in a in a pool um rather than your like sort of like clean focused energy i know i sound a little bit like i have a tinfoil on top of my head but that is today's topic for the vlog uh i'm gonna try and see if i'm gonna do something interesting maybe go out today uh and maybe vlog that but just wanted to sort of like rant a little bit about this and give you guys a little bit of value um but yeah, I mean, cool. I just need money and vibes, don't need none of that toxic shit. My social battery gone, I gotta stay out the mix. I'm trying to be so rich, I put that out in lit. Call you and say where you at, already know what time it is. What to win, I turn my back. So many men get scared for life, so when I'm outside, don't know I don't lack. Ain't gonna lie, I watch the dime, but I hit them. Should've been in the bar, but I said I'm in Lockwood That's one stop Londis Spoke to the label, they said I need content I ain't got no contest Eight balls in the bag, what's all this funneling? AD Green Goblin Weighted pause of this weighted dip to the trenches Step with the strongest